Okay, go. So why is it Barry Manilow? Well, hold on. Barry Manilow? Yeah, Barry Manilow. You sure? What the hell's wrong with Barry Manilow? He's just not very topical. The hell does that mean? Nobody listens to Barry Manilow anymore. And lots of people listen to Barry Manilow. Like who? People with bad taste. That's why this bit is funny. There are no more people in this world with that bad a taste. I.e., not topical. Would you just shut up and listen to the bit? Okay. So why? But I don't know who the fuck you're talking about. Just shut up, all right? So why is it Barry Manilow had to write a song saying that he was the one that wrote the songs and made the world sing? I mean, like what? Is he the Lone Ranger or the Troubadours? What? He comes riding into town, dust trail flying behind him. He's throwing out tunes left and right. All the town folk come out there singing, they're dancing. But as fast as he was in, he was gone. You know, and so everybody's left standing around saying, God damn, I love this tune. Who the hell wrote it? No. No what? It's not working. What doesn't work about it? It needs pizzazz. What? Pizzazz. You know, like, a bunch of hoes up there on stage shaking that ass. You all like, damn, homies. What's up with old B.A. Double Rizzolari Melizolo? Kicking flow about the jams that got people jumping, setting the record straight that he was the motherfucker that dropped those beats. What the fuck? Are you stoned? Just adding pizzazz. No, you're ripping off Snoop Dogg. No, I'm not. Um, hate to break it to you, but yeah, you were. That was nothing like the old double jizzle. Bullshit, it was exactly like him. So, people like old Snoop. Yeah, but I'm not black. Word for Vanilla Ice. Yeah, but Vanilla Ice got his ass kicked. Often. Since when? I don't know. Always, I guess. Bullshit. You were the biggest slut in high school. Oh, fuck you. I only slept with like ten guys. So what, you, you go from like screwing everybody to sleeping with chicks overnight? Well, we haven't actually slept together yet. You're not a lesbian. Well, what the hell are you waiting for? I mean, you'll bed down first day with all the boys, but what? You're taking your time with old Ellen there? She's not a lesbian. Her name is Mandy, and our relationship is just more emotional right now, You're okay? Not a lesbian. More emotional? That means that's code for you're full of shit. She's not a lesbian. You know, you can bite me. And what the hell are you talking about, I'm talking man? about you not being a lesbian. Yes, I am. You haven't even slept together yet. What does that have to do with anything? If you haven't slept with her, you're not gay. That is so stupid. Who you sleep with has nothing to do with your sexual orientation. I don't know about that. I think so, who you sleep with. I've never flown a plane, but I can go around telling people I'm a pilot. Oh, one day I might learn, but for now... That is completely different. I mean, sexual preference is something that you're born with. I don't know. I think who you sleep with has a lot to do with... I can be a lesbian without sleeping with anybody. Nope. Okay, so even though I'm only attracted to girls, no, I'm in love with a girl, I'm not gay until I sleep with her. Exactly. <sighs> Bullshit. So then before someone sleeps with anyone, what are they, nothing? Just neutral? They're straight. How do you figure that? Because you're straight until you declare otherwise. Declare otherwise. 
sexual preference isn't like declaring a major or something. Well, you know, college is when most people turn gay. seen this type before. Desert Storm, lots of guys couldn't handle the pressure. Oh, please. That wasn't even a real war. Yes, it was. We America's fighting force faced a fierce enemy to defend the freedom of those who could not defend themselves. What are you talking about? You guys showed up when they ran away, scared shitless. We were in real danger. It was life or death. Whatever. I need to borrow your car. I gotta pick up a friend. You want to pick up more lesbians? Give me your damn keys. Thanks. I'll bring it back later. Hello? Oh, hey, have you got my truck? What? What the? No, man, we're a bit... All right, fine. We'll be there in a minute. Holy oh fucking God. shit! What the hell happened here? I've seen this stuff in the Marines. I didn't mean to! Fuck, that's David! What the hell is he doing here? Did he break in? Shit, no. He came here with me. I picked him up at the bowling alley. That's why you needed my car? To pick this asshole up? What the fuck? After all the shit he put you through? Look, his car wouldn't start. I just wanted to help him. So why the hell is he here then? I don't know. Things just got weird, okay? Look at him! His pants are down! Were you fucking around or something? No! Not really! I mean, we made out a little made bit! Made out?! I thought you were a fucking lesbian! Shut up! Just shut up! Alright, okay, okay, okay. I'm sorry. But I mean, why is he... He got rough with me and I told him no! And he went all crazy over me and I hit him in the head with the skillet! Repeatedly! He's dead. Head wound. I think this is a murder weapon. <laughs> I don't want to go to jail. Well, wait. Stop and think about this for a second. Did anybody see you pick him up? I don't know. I don't think so. Well, we gotta get rid of it. What? The body. We have to get rid of it. Gotta, you know, hide it somewhere. Well, we can bury him. Uh, that'd take forever, and some damn poodle would just dig it up. Well, what about the river? Uh, that's no good either. A fisherman will find him. Well, what if we put him in a wood chipper? God, no! Didn't you see Fargo? Oh, no. No. Got an idea. Great. Let's put him under Carl's house. Carl's house. How is that a good idea? I mean, he's going to stink. Carl will find him and call the cops and we're all going to jail. Now listen. Yes. We can call the cops anonymously. Tell them we saw Carl with the body. They come. He goes to jail. I'm going to get the chair. Nah, he's on to something here. Now what's going to end up happening? Cops will come by. They'll do an investigation. Go talk to all the neighbors. I mean, all we got to do is tell them that, you know, David and Carl had this weird little gay thing going on. And, I mean, hell, you know, they had a fight and got pissed at each other. I mean, hell, maybe even Carl knew that you picked him up from the bowling alley. I thought you guys were going to get back together or something. Fucking killed his ass. Oh. But, you know, what we can do to top it off is tell everybody that he was real quiet. I mean, that's like a dead giveaway for murderers. Where are your trash bags?
I'm gonna piss on you next, damn dog! Top story today is an apparent break in the Dutchtown serial slayings. In a grisly scene at 1500 Middletown Way, authorities have uncovered six bodies so far. Although the victims' identities have not been disclosed, police investigators do believe that the killings are all related. Police have arrested the owner of the residence, one Carl Merriweather. Police sources say Merriweather had no prior arrest record. Action 10 reporter Alex Getty is on the scene with reaction from Meriwether's neighbors. He was just always real quiet. 